What's up, people? This is DET Aquarium. I just got in the Aqua FX Barracuda RODI system, and I'm going to go over this product with you and why I plan to use it on all my aquariums. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box for us. We can check out the unit. Seems like they have some really, really good packaging to make sure that this unit comes all in one piece. As you can see, it's not only bubble wrap, but they actually have this special styrofoam uh, insulation. I, I, I don't really know what it is, but you can see here. This is the Barracuda RODI unit made by Aqua FX. Took me a few minutes to get all the wrapping off of the product, but it was really well packaged. I made it here safe and sound, one piece, and really fast. Now, this company is actually based in Winter Park, Florida, and so it's local, it's made in the U.S., and it's family owned. I'm going to try to go ahead and set this RODI unit up. I'm going to go over what helped me the most setting it up and what products it came with and why I pick this product over all of the other units out there. Besides the RODI unit you see here, you get a couple other parts that are necessary for the function of the unit. Now, this almost comes fully assembled and ready to start using. The only three steps you really need to take before starting your RODI system is first installing the membrane. Now, all you have to do is take it out of the wrapping, open up this cylinder here, and slide your RO membrane with these two O-rings first. The other two hoses that need to be connected are your black and blue hoses. The black is for the inflow of water. The blue you see here is for your zero TDS water coming out. Now you get your choice of what adapter you'd like to connect for your inflow of water. I chose this one here as it's one of their most common ones used all you have to do is either connect it to your sink with an adapter or you can connect it directly to your garden hose. Simple as that. Other couple pieces that come with this system, uh, you get your instruction manual you can see here. has all the steps you need step by step. It's extremely easy to read. And they also have diagrams here if you need to follow that. You also have a wrench that comes with it for quick disconnect of each of these filters here. Now you get a couple other pieces of information. You get their business card, a magnet, a sticker, and a brochure. Just explaining a little bit further uh, of your system. Now let's go ahead and start connecting everything. One amazing feature that I find with this RODI unit is this quick connect fitting here. You remember this black hose here is for your input of water or inflow of water. All you have to do is simply connect it in this quick connect fitting you see here and it's not moving anywhere. Now if you want to take off this hose all you have to do is simply hold down the sides and pull out your hose. Simple as that. Next we take our product line or our outflow line. All we have to do again is just simply insert it into the quick connect fitting and again you can see it's not going anywhere. Now if I'm like most of you, when I started researching RODI units I really had no clue what each stage did. So I'm going to kind of go over a brief description of what they do to kind of give you an idea so we're both on the same page. The first stage here is our sediment filter. It's rated at 1 micron which is Aqua FX's standard. Now this stage is actually used to remove particulate out of the water. The next stage we're probably most familiar with is carbon. The carbon here in the middle is used to remove contaminants out of the water like chlorine, chloramine, pesticides, herbicides, things of that nature. The third stage is actually located on the top of the unit itself. It's the membrane. The membrane is the first place that actually removes TDS. And TDS stands for total dissolved solids. Now a good example of this would be salt. 
this membrane actually removes 90 to 98 percent of the TDS at first. The fourth stage is our DI stage, or our deionization stage. Now this actually takes our RO water to ultra pure water, which is 18 megaohm water. They use nuclear grade resin, was extremely, extremely great stuff. Now let's go ahead and get into the installation portion. Now this is just a simple setup, and I'm simply going to put it here for now until I have everything plumbed. But for now, I can simply use this unit, and it only took me a couple minutes to get everything together. Now you can see this yellow line is going into my sink, and that's the wastewater line. The black hose over here again is going to be connected to my adapter, and that's going to be connected to the sink. And you can buy an adapter whether you use a sink, the hose, and they have a couple other adapters that you can choose from to your liking. The blue hose over here actually connected a TDS meter, and that's just going to kind of give me a reading of what my water going out is going to be. And it will be zero TDS, and that's what we're shooting for here. And again, the blue line is for your outflow of water or your production water. Now just for a quick overview of what the actual RODI unit is doing. I have the faucet on which is going through our sink adapter which is feeding the black inflow line down to the RODI unit itself. As you can see it enters here through our quick connect fitting. It then goes through our sediment filter Next, again, you remember it's the carbon. Our third stage is the membrane. You can see the Barracuda logo. And finally, the fourth stage, the DI, or the deionization stage, which is the final stage in this RODI system. You can see our product line, which is the blue line, which checks through the TDS meter. And again, simply, I have it here to show you how well it works and how quickly it works and the blue product line is producing our zero TDS water. This Barracuda RODI unit comes with a dual TDS meter that actually measures the TDS going in the unit or either going out of the unit. I have it currently set to check the product water coming out of the unit as I think that's most important. Now it does read zero TDS per that meter that we just looked at but for a non-biased opinion, I also have a TDS Easy pen, just to give us another reading to ensure that what I'm saying is true. Now all we have to do is simply take this pen, stick it in the product water for a couple seconds, and we can press the hold function to check our reading. Now we check our reading, and yes, it is in fact zero TDS coming out of the water. So now we have two readings that show zero TDS. So this unit's actually performing perfectly, exactly what it's supposed to be doing. And quick, easy, the only sound that I can hear from it is actually coming from the sink itself and not the unit. So it's absolutely quiet. If you want to check out this unit along with any other units or filters that Aqua FF have to do is go to www.aquariumwaterfilters.com or you can check out their YouTube channel which is aquafx.net and that's D-O-T net. Please take the time to check out their YouTube channel and or their website. Get a feel for it and I really appreciate you guys watching. Take care and have a good week ahead.